Army. Army, how are you doing? Tim, loving it. Hood River 23. This place is epic. <laughs> we got the river behind us. Blue sky days. What could be better? This video is all about the tails. So Armstrong has come out with some new tails over the past six months, nine months, the last year. I got to tell you, when you look at the different combinations, MA, HA, CF, now downwinders, and then we have the tails. What are we going to use them for? Well, like, we tried to make that clear. Okay. We tried to make that clear, so we printed it on there. Glide, right? <laughs> oh, so, glide. So what's glide? 20 glide. 220 glide is for if you're trying to get your downwinders dialed, you want more glide, you want more bottom end pop up. This thing's a big, high ass big tail. <laughs> okay. It's only 220, but a massive span, right? Look at the span on that thing. So that'll help you with your pop, it'll help you with your glide between pumps so you can glide longer. So I can use it with any of them. You can use it with any of the foils, lower your stall speed. You can use it with the current range too. Any of the HAs, it'll lower the stall speed okay. significantly. So from behind the boat, if you want to glide through the back, yeah. epic, right? Yeah. It glides. Two, two okay. glide, okay. So it is going to drop your top end speed, okay? That's sure, but you're going to get way more at the bottom end. So that's the glide. Try them with no shims to start with. You can shim up once you got them dialed. Just yeah. bang them on no shim yeah. first of all. Okay. okay. Next, we've got the Speed 180. So the Speed 180 control at speed. This thing, it's very similar design philosophy between the three foils as you can see but the size makes a massive difference size counts with foil so this thing is optimized for control at speed and then with that that's all about rippers our, our team riders and stuff holy smokes that hardly looks like anything look how small this thing is can you see that? Dot 140. Cash, do you ride this? I like the 180. Uh, sometimes. Cash likes the 180 because he gets the control when he's coming in hot, landing jumps, gotcha. this thing getting more pop, right? Gotcha. This thing, if you're in the surf and you're a ripper, super fun, super loose, blow the tail, rips into it. And then when we come over here, we got the pump 202. Pump 202. Well, that goes with the APF 1675 and 1880 right here next to you. So, yeah, we haven't talked about these yet, but these things for flat water day, so light wind downwinding game changer and this tail matches these foils perfectly it's a thick high camber foil section which gives tons of bottom end lift so you can actually put this on any of the foils as well if you want to improve the bottom end not designed really for slashing turns this thing's very flat very efficient and a pumping sense okay so if you want to do long want to go rail to rail turns and yeah the dock starts dock starts flat water pump ups this is the tail okay then we get into the surf 205 surf 205 and the flow 235 so these are an upgrade on our two Three, two tail that we had the chop lines on in the past. What we've done is given people options without having yeah. to chop it. Yeah. Now the sports <laughs> evolved a lot since then, so yeah. now you got the options, and we try to keep it simple. That one, two, three, five is a little bigger, a little more yeah. vertical surface area. That just gives you more your stability. This one's the most stable foil for the rider who can already ride. You have to still have the CF 300, which is like massive and ultra stable for the beginner. Well, yeah, it's still in the range, but as soon as you're foiling, this thing just helps people getting their first tacks, getting their first jobs, getting their first connections across the wave, you know, getting their first waves in the surf, more stable. The surf 205, once you're already up and riding, it's more surf. Still more flow. It's more flow, it likes to crack turns. This foils, this tail's all about turn. Gotcha. When people think about the shims, so we have red shim, we have blue shim, how do you suggest they go through the shim testing process? Well, pretty much use no, with the new tails and fuses, right? It's straight on. Okay, so no shim to start with. Okay, don't confuse things for yourself. The tail's this way around, upside down. If you shim, okay, what you're doing is you're lifting the back of the foil, and that's going to reduce the lift and the drag from the tail, which means actually the big thing. You're going to push the whole foil further forward in the board. So only start with the blue shim first, for half the group. Don't go straight to a red. If you're going to try a shim, first of all, make sure you've used the tail, you've got comfortable with where it runs on your board with no shim. Super critical. Then, when you want to shim up, if you want to increase the speed, increase the top end, you can put a half degree shim in there, but that's going to mean you're going to move the foil forward a couple, two to three centimeters in the board at the same time. Oh, no kidding. Critical. In the mass rack. Okay. Critical. So adjusting the tail angle, just the foot pressure as well as the lift and speed of the rig so it's two things happening in tandem so you've got to put those things together as long as we're here and we have we have this thing right here the pump foil there's been uh people looking for the answer for dock starts 
for pumping for a long time. Look at this design. This is pretty cool. This recently came out. What is the design philosophy behind this pump coil? Yeah, we haven't been really big in the pump thing, but the pump thing just took off globally. And what it does is it allows people to access foiling when there's no wind and wave. So, hey, we got to get in there because it's just too much fun. Yeah. For light wind, down wind, this is just, I love this thing. Here at the gorge, on like the other day, it was like a 10 knot day. We were down winding on these. <laughs> so the philosophy for the design is just max camera what section gives you lift at almost no speed so yeah i wanted a like a literally a four to five knot take off which is walking speed right so yeah these things very low speed store which is just this massive curve on the top surface and a reflex on the full length of the bottom just gives these things so much lift at low speed and yeah really fun to run. so any of the dock starters out there this is where you can go in the Armstrong lineup. 100%. Light wind, this thing moves, and then the tail again for this. Well, for max pump, you're on the pump 202, 100%. You can see the outline of these things, they're related, like pretty yeah. closely related to foil family. It's actually the same foil section as well. So I co-developed with Chris Porter and Aussie Chris, you legend. He is a top aerospace engineer, and he loves foiling. He's addicted to foiling too, and we got him on board to help develop these. And yeah, we're stoked until we got to it. Fantastic. Well, Army, thanks so much. I know I just learned something about the shim. I didn't know when I shimmed it, I had to move it forward a little bit. See? <laughs> Come now, on, you know everything. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thanks for checking out the videos. Check out the other ones. We'll see you out there on the water. And Cash, thanks for filming it. <laughs>